Nicki Minaj is speaking out, and some people are kind of like giving her the side eye. Some people saying, "Well, good, congratulations." Now she recently spoke out on black men and their need for emotional nurturing. She said, first of all, right. honey, she said, "I want to say this, dear black men, I love you. Dear black men, I appreciate you. Dear black men, you are needed and wanted. And dear mm. black men, you are the only men on this planet that, as a little boys, you don't get to be nurtured and treated like a child, like a baby, like someone's." Thing that needs to be loved and hugged and kissed and told that we love you. Then she also wanted to say, a lot of times, especially black men, they're not allowed y'all to show their emotions. She said, they get told, oh, you got to man up. You got to do this and you got to do that. She said, you got to be the man of the house before you even. She said, you know what I'm saying. She said, a lot of times that the man needs to be treated like this. She said, ladies, you know how we nurture our sons, our children, and we just adore them and kiss on them. They... They um, want that. She said they need that. So I just want to say and make sure that I let black men know for the rest of their lives, I love you and we need you. Beautiful. Mm. That's sweet. What's wrong? Yeah, but dear black man, y'all need all this other stuff, honey. But dear black woman, here, she got to sit home raising all these doggone kids. When the dear black man just leave her in the house and go around the corner or go. She got all that. That's how she got the kids. (laughs) (laughs) Uh I'm just playing. Yeah, I mean, you know, and that's understood, though. But, I mean, black men are nurtured in love. I thought they say black mothers raise their daughters and love their sons. So, you know, I mean, it's just, I don't know. That's just something to, to, to think about. Right. You know, it's, it's just something to think about. But anyway, that's how she feel. That's good. You know, that, so, girl, you think that black men be, be baby too much? And not just baby. They be baby too much for one dog. Don't think, but you need to dear black man. And um, when you become a man, you need to l- learn how to be a man and face your responsibilities and take care of your responsibilities and stuff. Instead of, oh, we just love our black men and we, they don't know how to cry. And all, they don't know how to cry at the other woman's house and they left your ass with all them cheering. <laughs> no. Sorry, I just, it's just it's a little different, Gary, but, you know. Gary, you're not playing with them. You ain't playing with us today. No, I'm not. I mean, come on. I mean, it's just. Some of them cry when they over there at that house and left behind there with all them children. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's dear black men, honey. But anyway, you know, she feels that way and that's good and, you know, maybe. So, I, I, I don't know. But that was just a different situation for me. Right. Know. So, you know, congratulations. But Nick. you was loved. Yes, I was loved. And, you know, honey, and I mean, and I knew how to be a man regardless of what my, um, Preference may have been. I still know how to take care of my responsibility and now, be responsible. I don't, I don't care what they say about you, Gary. When, when you sneeze or when you yawn, <laughs> yeah, you definitely a man. Wrong man. <laughs> yeah, you're a yawn just like a grown man and go right back to sissy. That's right, baby. Come, okay, come transformation out, come out of is that quick. Show, like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. But anyway, child. Congratulations, honey. We love Nikki and her dear black man. All right, moving on in other celebrity news, y'all. Dolly Parton, baby, she's speaking out. She said she wants to collaborate, y'all, with Cardi B, honey. She was on a, did a recent interview, and, you know, she said about Cardi B, she said she's a character. She said, I know she's an original. She um, also added that I would love to do something with Cher sometimes, a TV show or something, and a movie. And she said we'll have Cardi B on the same show. She said, you know, she'll let Cher host it. And she said Cardi B, and she would both be entertainers. So, Congratulations, honey. I love Dolly Parton, honey. I, I love country music and I have to grow up watching that and stuff and listening to it. So I think I like Hee Haw on Saturday. Then you love Hee Haw and Lulu oh, and Grandpa. Agony <laughs> on me. Oh. Yes, dude. Love Hee Haw, honey. That was a good show. So we'll see if that work out for the um, country Carter version of Saturday Night Live. Okay. Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then my final story, y'all, legendary singer songwriter Smokey Robinson, baby, y'all, they said he spoke out on the view the other day and he was a little bit upset, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> He said he considered himself to be a black American. He said, I resent being called African American. He said, I think that when you do that, you're disclaiming all the things, all the contributions that black people have made to America. He said, I consider myself to be a black American, and I enjoy being called black. Unquote. So he said, I'm mad at him. Yeah, so bless his soul, honey. He I said, don't care what see about me. <laughs> That's right, he don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, honey. So y'all don't call. I'm smoking my Robinson there, honey. Y'all call Last year, Jazz honey. in the garden smoking Robinson had on some leather pants. Boy, he out there, he hunched the whole stage. He <laughs> yes, gave it to him. He yes, gave it to him. He right. gave it to him. At 82 oh, years old, and, honey. Went and bought me some leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, the Kahlua today, y'all, is one of my favorite. My Kahlua today, y'all, is flirt alert. On the high end, you say flirt alert, and on the low end, you say beautiful red. That's your Kahlua for today. Y'all, give it up for Gary with the T. <laughs>